and welcome to your Humber News Update. I'm Alex Martino coming to you from our newsroom here at Humber College North Campus. Here's what we're working on at this hour. More than 700 people have been killed in the stampede during the annual Hajj pilgrimage near the holy city of Mecca in Saudi Arabia. The stampede happened in Mina, a few kilometers from the holy site of Mecca. The tragedy struck during a symbolic stoning of the devil ritual. This is not the first time that disaster has occurred here. In 1990, almost 1,500 pilgrims were killed in a stampede, and in 2006, almost 400 people died in the stone-throwing ritual. Authorities say more than 800 people were injured in today's stampede. Those numbers are expected to rise. Pope Francis made history this morning, becoming the first pontiff to address a joint meeting of the U.S. Congress. Mr. Speaker, the Pope of the Holy See. The Pope spoke about abortion, gay marriage, and the Syrian refugee crisis. He told Congress that Americans should show compassion to all immigrants, saying they shouldn't turn their backs on their neighbors. He also made some controversial remarks about same-sex marriage, saying he's concerned about threats to the family and fundamental relationships. The Pope heads to New York tonight and returns home on Sunday. The European Union has agreed to offer 1 billion euros to aid the ongoing Syrian refugee crisis. EU leaders met in Brussels earlier today for an emergency summit. The seven-hour meeting ended with leaders pledging funds to Syria's neighbors and the United Nations. The money will go toward helping countries who carry the largest load of refugees, as well as organizations on the front lines of the crisis. German Chancellor Angela Merkel says her government supports the EU proposals, but that the problem isn't anywhere near bearding salt. EU officials say they expect more details next month. Here at home in the world of sports, the Blue Jays did it again last night. They took the series with the New York Yankees 2-1. to one. Turning to weather, it's another gorgeous day with temperatures still hovering above 20 degrees. Tune in to our 2 o'clock show to get your full three-day forecast. We leave you now with a video that gives a whole new meaning to rocking the boat. Two kayakers off the U.S. West Coast made some unexpected new friends on what has to be their most eventful open water excursion. <laughs> some nervous laughs there as the kayak is surrounded by a pod of killer whales. The great mammals wasted no time getting up close and personal with the two seafarers. The two brave kayakers remained oh composed oh as the orcas swam right up and underneath them. Had to be a whale of an experience. That's your 12 o'clock update. I'm Alex Martino. We'll be back with more Humber News at 2.